Welcome inside the Mass Mutual Center, Pete Sousa, alongside Nate Brown for some Monday night basketball. The Springfield Armor take on the Erie Bayhawks this evening in a tale of two teams that couldn't be going in any more different directions. The Armor have won six of their last three home games. The Bayhawks, winners of just one of eight in their last nine road games. Springfield overall has won five of their last six. But Erie brings into this game NBA veteran Ricky Davis. 12 seasons, 786 games. Yeah, that's plenty of experience to be bringing into a D-League game. But one guy who Springfield fans are very familiar with who's getting some very valuable NBA experience right now is recent call-up Adonis Thomas. Another guy who's been called up by the NBA, Jeff Foote, 2011-2012, the New Orleans Hornets, the then New Orleans Hornets, they came calling. Jeff talked to me about that call-up and several other things on and off the floor just moments ago. Pete Sousa pregame with Jeff Foot. Jeff, watching you warm up moments ago, you absorb a lot of contact out there. Mm -hmm. But it seems like the contact gets you going. Yeah, it definitely does. Uh, I'm a bit more of a physical player. Um, you know, I like, I'm not the most athletic guy out there, so I got to use my body. And uh, I rely a lot on my strength, so um, getting in contact usually gets me going, get me warmed up. Well, this team has witnessed a dramatic turnaround. We've witnessed a dramatic turnaround. Started off one and nine, you won five of your last six, seven and four in February. What has triggered the turnaround? Uh, I think it's just uh, we're, we're starting to get used to excuse me, it's starting to get used to each other as a group, uh, really getting some chemistry down. Uh, I think Coach Overton's found the right kind of rotation and how we really play to our strengths and uh, bringing in the new guys like DJO and uh, Khalif and uh, Devin has really helped us lift us up as well. Yeah, there is a lot of chemistry. Do you think that will lead to more call-ups? I think so, for sure. Uh, cause the better we play, the better we look, and uh, you know, the more guys are out of here. So, on the season, you have eight double doubles. You've been attacking the basket on offense. What's led to that development? Uh, it was just kind of Coach Carowell pushing me to get back to how I was a couple of years ago. Um, really opens up the outside for our shooters, and uh, really helps us as a team. So, um, you know, he stressed to be more physical and to be more aggressive, and this definitely helped. Coach Overton calls you the Armour's offensive hub. Can you expand on that a little? I, I think it's just uh, I'm more of a patient player. Um, so when they drop it into me, a double team will come, and I'll look to you know get it out, get kind of like the hockey assist or whatnot. Uh, sometimes I think it gets a little chaotic, and you know they throw it into me just to slow things down and get a good shot. Well, we talked about Coach Overton, how he trusts you. What has Coach Carroll, Armour assistant coach, taught you? Uh, a lot. Um, He's got a lot about aggressiveness and a lot about patience. Um, lately, they've been coming with, a, with the double team more and more, and uh, it's been more, there's other ways to impact the game besides scoring and whatnot, and uh, a lot of that. Um, so he's just been a tremendous help. Well, we've talked about on the floor. Talk to me about what's going on inside the ring. WWE, what should we expect from the WWE this week? I'm not sure, really. Um, it's been exciting the past couple of weeks. Uh, Orton held on to the belt, so that was cool. Um, you know, Cesaro, in my opinion, has been one of the best wrestlers lately, and uh, so I'm excited about that. Also, with uh, Hulk Hogan returning to WrestleMania coming up soon, uh, it's going to be a good time. Hulk Hogan back at WrestleMania. Jeff Foote can't beat it. Armor, Bayhawks coming up. Jeff Foote in his second tour of duty with the Armor. He is one of the fan favorites here in Springfield. And another fan favorite is our very own Matt Stover, who went out and spoke with a couple of the fans with Fandemonium. Thanks, guys. I had a chance to catch up with a few diehard fans in the concourse and ask them a few unusual questions about their Springfield Armor. In your expert opinion, who is the biggest jokester on the Springfield Armor team this year? Well, there's a few. You have Larry Anderson, Willie Reed, and there's a few others, but the biggest jokes I probably say is Willie Reed because he's funny and he's a kid and he's silly, but at the same time he's mature. But he's like he's silly at the same time like me, and we're like we're practically the same person. So I'll say him. I'm seeing a little uh, thing here, call Willie up. Favoritism maybe? <laughs> I wouldn't say favoritism. We just support his movement and want him to pursue his dreams and become an NBA player. Absolutely. You think? I'd say Willie. Willie as well? Yeah, if G, the dance that he does, you know, when they're <laughs> calling his name and all that, definitely Willie. And you? And I too. <laughs> I'm going to say Willie, yes. <laughs> if you could spend one day with any armor player on the roster, who would it be and why? Well, I would say uh, Dennis Horner, but he's no longer with the team. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> um, 
Probably uh, E Banks. E Banks? Uh, yeah, I think he's a good player and uh, down to earth guy. We got the ball with them with the season ticket thing and seems like a real nice guy. Yeah, just dropped 31 too, so hopefully he comes up big tonight. You know, Pete, kind of different seeing somebody else do the Fandemonium spot aside from myself, but Matt did a fine job with it. Well, some consistency. Our community quarter last show was done by Lisa Oxen. Today, Lisa takes us inside the league's Read to Achieve program. Thanks, Pete. I'm here with Brad Medeiros to talk about the Read to Achieve program. Brad, can you tell us a little bit about the background of the program? Yeah, the program, it's a, it's a reading incentive program. It's in its fourth year now. Uh, currently, we work with, in this season alone, uh, 56 schools, almost 20,000 students that uh, come from 21 different cities and towns in the area. And when the armor goes to the schools, what do you do? Well, when we go to the schools, we want to be very interactive. We like engaging the kids. So we uh, do a kickoff assembly. We bring out our mascot, Steel, uh, and we get the kids really excited about the program, excited about reading, and uh, excited about the armor. And if the kids achieve the reading goal, what is their uh, prize? Well, like I said, it's a four-week incentive program, so there's four different prizes they can earn. Uh, you know, they get a free round of mini golf, a uh, Springfield Armor bookmark, a free pass to the Basketball Hall of Fame, and then they ultimately get a free ticket to a Springfield Armor basketball game. To find out more about the Read to Achieve program, visit armorhoops.com or call the Armor at 413-746-3263. Thanks a lot, Lisa, and we go from off the floor to back on it. Last year, late in the season, after the season, in fact, Willie Reed was called up by the Memphis Grizzlies on April 17th. That's not the first time that's happened, guys getting called up after the season. But some guys, well, they've already been called up. Yeah, and as we mentioned earlier, Adonis Thomas just recently got a call up from the Orlando Magic on February 25th. The youngster has played in two games for the Magic so far, totaling five points, two rebounds, and one assist in only 14 minutes of on-the-court action. Pretty impressive start so far. The youngster, I like it. Some more youngsters being called up all over the league. Let's take a look at him. With the 24th NBA D-League Gatorade call-up of the season, the Orlando Magic signed Springfield Armors, Adonis Thomas. And the arm will come right back. Thomas inside, got the basket to go. Rips. Adonis Thomas barreling inside, and the floater is good. The six foot seven inch Thomas was averaging 14 points and four rebounds a game for the Springfield Armor. And tracked down by Thomas. Thomas lays it up and in. Eight on the shot clock. He drives in right side. He's cut off. He'll put up a very tough shot. He gets it to go. Adonis Thomas with a nice hoop. NBA Entertainment doing such a terrific job of illustrating what this league is all about right there with that call-up video. Right now, what the armor are all about? making the playoffs. They come into this game just five games behind the LA Defenders. Yeah, Pete, and they only have 13 more games in the season. They played extremely well as of late, but unfortunately, time is winding down on the season and for the Armor to make a playoff push. Well, the time is now. Armor, Bayhawks, tip off, coming right up. <laughs> 